Hey, what's going on there, people? So, uh, really quickly, an in introduction into what we're going to be doing with this series is um, I just uh, signed up for the Apple Beta program, which uh, is basically a program to download beta versions of their software that is upcoming. And um, I'm going to do parts kind of in real time. So, today I just signed up for it. And around July when the beta uh, software actually becomes available, we'll make another video. So it'll be kind of some time in between. This is basically just a video about how to sign up for it, where the website is, and what you basically have to do to sign up. It's a very, very easy process, as is most of the things that Apple does. So anybody who thinks that this is a more in-depth video, look elsewhere. This is going to be more of a series of my experience with going through the motions of um, getting it. So just wanted to give you a quick... Uh, kind of introduction to what we're going to be doing. So enjoy. Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? It's Jay here with another Apple video for you. So today, what I decided to do after watching the Worldwide Developers Conference keynote yesterday, uh, it came out on Monday, but I was working. I didn't have a chance to uh, to watch it, so I was able to watch it on my day off on Tuesday. I decided to try and sign up for this Apple beta software program. So those of you who don't know what this is, basically you can sign up and uh, you will be able to download beta versions of the next uh, operating systems for iPhone, iPad, uh, basically iOS, or uh, OS X. So the next OS X is El Capitan and uh, iOS 9 is going to be coming out. And uh, what this does is it basically allows users to um, to test drive the new operating systems and to report back to Apple what they find. So it, it kind of gets a lot more eyes on things and it allows uh, Apple to fix bugs before they release the final version of an operating system. And uh, really, uh, it's a cool way of being involved in Apple's process of you know, actually developing these apps. So I decided to uh, sign up. So today is going to be day one. I'm going to sign up for it, and then we'll uh, continue to make this video over time, and uh, we'll chronicle each individual situation. So this video will just be about signing up for the beta software program. So up here you can see uh, on Apple's website, it's a secure site, and I basically just went in and uh, I did a Google search for Apple Beta Program, and this came up. So you can go ahead and do the same thing. But that's the link if you are looking for it. It's um, https uh, beta.apple.com backslash sp backslash beta program backslash welcome. So basically just a welcome, welcome screen. It says, Apple Beta Software Program, help make the next releases of iOS 9 and OS 10 El Capitan are best yet. As a member of the Apple Beta Software Program, you can take part in shaping Apple software by test driving pre-release versions and letting us know what you find. Sign up today with your Apple ID. Um, how do I participate? As a member of the Apple Beta Software Program, you'll be able to enroll your Mac or iOS device, install public beta software, and start using it. When you come across an issue that needs addressing, send your report directly to Apple with the built-in Feedback Assistant app. Um, so that's pretty cool. So what we'll do is we will sign up here. Sign in with the Apple ID. And there's an agreement. Please read the Apple Beta Software Program Agreement carefully. It represents a legal agreement between you and Apple regarding Apple's proprietary and confidential information. Please keep in mind you should not install beta software on production or business critical systems. We strongly recommend installing beta software on a secondary system or device or on a secondary partition on your Mac. So obviously what they're saying is, um, you know, this is going to be some, I'm just kind of perusing it. I know it's going to be really long and I'm not going to sit here and read every single thing. But, you know, they're trying to, uh, they also know that if you're going to be part of their uh, beta software program. You don't want to be selling secrets to Android or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the terms. So basically I will get an email when uh, the beta software is available. Public betas, I don't believe, are due to come out until July. Now the good thing about this, there are ways, and I'm sure you can go online and you can find ways of downloading 
the beta software from torrent websites and things of that nature. The problem that you run into is if you have to restore your device or your computer, you will not be able to restore to that iOS. It's not the end of the world, um, but basically what you'll have to do is you'll have to uh, restore it back to the most recent software, whatever it was, and it could cause some problems in the long run. If you do a public, a public beta through Apple, uh, you're basically, if something happens to the phone and you restore, you're going to get the original iOS 9 beta. Now, if there's a major problem, you can always backtrack and uh, go back to iOS 8 until iOS 9 is ready. There's a lot more options. If you just wait for Apple and you do it in the legit style, there's just a lot more um, stability when it comes to problems. So that's why I'm going to sign it up this way. I have in the past signed up for or have downloaded, um, you know, illicit, I guess you would call it, versions of the iOS uh, software. I think when iOS 7 came out, I think I downloaded the uh, stuff early before they really had beta stuff like that. But um, I think that, uh, you know, this way is a much more easy way of doing it, and it's, you know, I guess more legit. So, And I can actually help Apple, and that's kind of cool. So um, we will let you know what the next thing. So our next video will be about the uh, app, emails that come in and we'll show you how that works and uh, hopefully it'll be cool. So thanks for watching.